So in this model, we can see here a piece of the liver, and the liver is the organ that produces the bile. And after bile is produced, it is released into the right and left hepatic ducts. So these are the hepatic ducts. When the right and left hepatic ducts get together, they form the common hepatic duct. So I need you to know that this is the common hepatic duct. This is the gallbladder. In the gallbladder, bio is stored and modified. And when bio leaves the gallbladder, it goes through the cystic duct. This is the cystic duct. When the cystic duct and the common hepatic duct get together, they form the common bio duct. And the common bio duct is the one that takes bio towards the duodenum, the first segment of the small intestine. And bio then is released into the duodenum when the sphincter of odi, also named hepatopancreatic sphincter, relaxes. Now remember, this sphincter is named the hepatopancreatic sphincter because passing through it, we have bio coming from the liver and also pancreatic juice coming from the pancreas, specifically the main pancreatic duct. So this is the sphincter of odi in the duodenum and through it, we have passing bio and also pancreatic juice.